Welcome to all the NAPG clients. Very warm, happy St. Patrick's Day from Roots and Walk Dublin from Ireland. And we are standing outside a huge monument to many Irish people. But the main person we're focusing on is St. Patrick. Why is St. Patrick so important? So, St. Patrick is our patron saint and the 17th of March is our national day. So does the 17th of March record his birth, his death, the first conversion to Christianity or springtime? St. Patrick lived at the end of the Roman Empire and he came to Ireland from Western Britain. So St. Patrick's Day, our national day, celebrates the death of St. Patrick. The Customs House in front of us is a fine classical building dating back to the 1790s. And this is where a lot of the ships would have docked in the olden days as Ireland is an island. St. Patrick arrived by boat, but he didn't come to Dublin. He came to Downpatrick. We have a lovely statue of Erin. She was a fire goddess and she represents Ireland and our independence. And then beside her is the statue of St. Patrick. He has his bishop's hat and a crow's ear and he's looking after young boys. St. Patrick's Day or St. Patty's Day? So St. Patrick was a man who came from Western Britain. Patty is the center of a burger and it can have either meat or fish. Here we are at the top of Parnell Square and this is where the St. Patrick's Day Parade begins. And a nice spot, huh? We're on O'Connell Street and we're looking at this great wide street, a very grand building, our post office where the Republic was declared. And this is the main street in Dublin and it's also where the main part of the parade, the St. Patrick's Day Parade, runs. And it's sunny today. This bridge is called the Haypenny Bridge. Back in the olden days, you had to pay a half a penny to cross it. And we're going to cross and to continue along the line of the parade. We are on Nassau Street. Just behind us, we have Trinity College. The reason we're here is that this area is called St. Patrick's Well. And this is where, allegedly, St. Patrick baptized people back in the 400s. And the 400s was the Dark Ages. That's why all the information is a bit blurry. What do you think is the colour of Ireland? Is it green? Green is for nature and virtue. There's blue for water and the sea because we're an island. There's white for purity and also for neutrality. And then there's orange after the Protestants in Ireland who sponsored William of Orange. So this street we're on, Nassau Street, is named after William of Orange. This route is where the St. Patrick's Day Parade will process up. Uh, we have a view down the hill towards College Green and the road is old so it's quite squiggly. Uh, we have our city hall 
and then some of the older streets and behind them then is the medieval core of Dublin. So we're right in the old city of Dublin and we look up the hill and then we see a water fountain. Hmm. People had to go to the well for water. And then up the hill is to Christ Church Cathedral. He was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and the snakes slithered up and started attacking him. So he dropped down his crozier and they slithered away and never came back to Ireland. Some people say the snakes mean that people were converted to Christianity. And the other thing is some people say the Ice Age killed all the snakes ages ago. The parade does not go down High Street in front of us. It turns and goes down the hill towards St. Patrick's Cathedral. There is quite a mixed area in St. Patrick's Cathedral and traditionally it was quite poor. A lot of the houses that you see in this area were built for families who couldn't afford to buy their own homes. In fact, the Guinness family built these apartments for the poor people of Dublin. Guinness is often associated with day and it's interesting to think that all of this housing was built right beside St. Patrick's Cathedral by the Guinness family. So oh, there were a lot of tenements here in the past, whole families living in one room and this housing was built to help that. St. Patrick explained the mystery of the Blessed Trinity by the Shamrock. God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So how many leaves do the Shamrock have? Three or four? More or less where we're positioned now was where a river called the Poddle, so Poddle, it's like a puddle with an O, divided in two and formed a moat, a little island, and St. Patrick's Cathedral was built on this island. And there is water around it, so like a moat, and that meant that the water level was very high so no bodies could be buried beneath not no body but no bodies at all so some of the people are said to have been buried in the walls and others in the cemetery beside so st patrick's cathedral the aisle or the nave is 90 meters so way more than that in feet the longest cathedral in all of ireland St. Patrick's Park and just behind is St. Patrick's Cathedral. Now um, what is the symbolism of a sheep? Is it that Jesus saved the lost sheep, an act of conversion, or was it that St. Patrick was big into knitting, or was it that he looked after sheep up on a mountaintop?
The traditional food is called kadal. It's shavings of bacon, potatoes and cabbage boiled up all in one pot. But on a special day, sometimes people would have bacon instead. Do you think that you could get corned beef in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day? And if you did, would it be good? Why did St. Patrick come to Ireland? Did he come here on holidays? Or did he love the Irish culture and language? Or was he kidnapped by pirates as he was a 16 year old boy and he was put up onto the top of a mountain to look after sheep? Answer three might be the right one. St. Patrick's Cathedral is the oldest site of Christianity in Ireland and apparently St. Patrick was baptising here in the 400s but maybe he never came to Dublin at all as we know the Dark Ages were a bit blurry. So Americans are really great at making festivals of days and in Ireland we had a very poor St. Patrick's Day parade where we used to shiver with the shamrock on our shirt and watch the majorettes go by. Then the bands from the USA would come and really enliven things. Now we don't eat corned beef on St. Patrick's Day. We eat bacon, cabbage and potatoes. When the Irish went to America, they couldn't get decent bacon, so they took to corned beef instead. The other thing that Americans do is put a lot of green in things. So we heard that the old color for Ireland was blue. So what we do now is light up all of our buildings in green. St. Patrick's Cathedral is also lit up on St. Patrick's Day and in fact it's illuminated for the whole week. So are many of the buildings and the bridges that you have seen in our little walk through. But they're illuminated in green. Why not in blue? That's a curious question, isn't it? It could be because many, many of Irish heritage live all over the world and they wanted a colour to unite them in their sense of being Irish, particularly on this special day. So whilst we have orange and some people use gold instead of orange and we have blue for Dublin and white for neutrality, green is the colour internationally for Ireland. This park was given to Dublin by the Guinness family. And then over to the left, we see some lovely buildings. And these were built as social housing by the great grandson of Guinness. However, the pub in Irish culture was a place where people would come together. Sometimes they would eat, but generally in Dublin pubs, there was more uh, talk 
drink and getting drunk was only a byproduct. So St. Patrick's Day is a day of remembering our roots, coming together if we can, but it's not necessarily a day where everybody gets a bit too merry. Many more than 10 times the population of people living in Ireland live all over the world. And St. Patrick's Day is seen as a great day for everybody to celebrate their Irishness, or maybe they want to have a little bit of Irish in them. Some people think Irishness means that you're lucky. Others say it's a way of overcoming adversity. But it's one way that people who haven't been home in a long time can come together virtually and celebrate. Many people wonder what Guinness has to do with St. Patrick's Cathedral. Well, the statue of this gentleman is Benjamin Lee Guinness, and he was the grandson of Arthur Guinness. He spent a fortune renovating this cathedral in the 1860s. They say that the statue was cast at the moment he got the bill for the renovation works and you may see a scroll of paper on his knee. Yeah, he nearly died. It was eye-wateringly expensive. Do you think that the Guinness family can claim a monopoly on St. Patrick's Day since they built so much housing for poor people, they built a park and they renovated St. Patrick's Cathedral? Well, it's an interesting one because back in the olden days, there were many, many breweries and then Guinness was the one that won out and they very much associated their brand with being Irish. So if you're living overseas, most people would take Guinness on St. Patrick's Day rather than any other Irish beverage. In cathedrals generally, Many people are buried in a crypt, so that's the basement underneath the cathedral. But there's too much water around here. As we heard, the cathedral is built on an island and a river flows around it. So all of the bodies had to be put out to the cemetery. And the cross you can see over to the right, that's a traditional Celtic cross. The circle around it is a halo. So to convert Irish people, if you couldn't find a shamrock, you put a Christian cross up to the sun and the sun formed a halo around it. And this linked Christianity to the four seasons. People often wonder how we can compare the early faith of Christianity with our lively get-togethers on St. Patrick's Day. And I suppose we're celebrating the fact that we're Irish and we can come together, even if it's virtually. When Irish people emigrated, they realized how many colors there were all over the world. And so they chose the green color as their sense of Irishness and identity. So thank you to all of the NAPD clients. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you have any questions, come back to me, Ruth at Walk Dublin. Come on tour and find out more.